Grab your libations. No water here. I'll take two fingers of larceny. Your finest craft beer, barkeep. Cheers, everyone, and welcome to the Unfiltered Gentlemen. No matter how you take your hooch, we've got something ice cold and on tap. Now, serving it to you straight and unfiltered, here are Greg, Scott, and Dan. Yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. Cheers, everybody. Welcome into the Unfiltered Gentlemen. Thanks for listening. Thanks for hanging out. Mm-hmm. I'm Greg. Oh, there, that's Scott. Howdy. And that's Dan. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. Actually, that was Medea. Oh, <laughs> hello! <laughs> like the, the grandma movie, whatever. Yeah. Wow. Medea. All right. I was just trying a different uh, dialect there. <laughs> With howdy, hello. I thought that was supposed <laughs> to be some like redneck thing. No. <laughs> uh, well, welcome in uh, to Medea's <laughs> unfiltered comedy hour. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Medea's unfiltered drunk show. It's kind of <laughs> like the new Ernest. You know, she goes to jail. She goes here. She goes there. That's true. Saves who was Christmas? Who was less funny, Ernest or Medea? Oh man, uh, mm, I've never seen no. any of the Medeas. I never have either. I uh, didn't either. I would venture to say probably Medea. Yeah, probably. I'd say Ernest was funny because he'd do that impression of his grandma or whatever, and that was like always really funny with the neck collar. <laughs> All right. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Not Nobody really. Knows. I remember he used to do the local car dealership. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then they kept doing the commercial after he died. Yeah. It's like they owned his soul. It was like, go see Vern. Yeah. You know what I mean, Vern? Terrible. He's dead. Uh, oh, God. Well, it's dead like, guy stealing cars. It's kind of yeah. like the infomercial guy. Um, <laughs> oh. They still use his Billy whatever. Oh, Billy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, they still use Billy him on, Yeah. He, they yeah. still use him on OxyClean sometimes. Oh, that's really? Right. Yeah. They still use him? Wow. terrible. Damn. We went off on the tangent. Yeah, there. we did. <laughs> tangent. <laughs> oh, hey, it's the unfiltered gentleman. Yeah. <laughs> Dead guy selling stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so good it'll kill you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Take he, it from me. Yeah, he was snorting OxyClean. <laughs> oh, too soon. That's what happened. Yeah, too soon. Uh, anyways, welcome in, everybody. It's the unfiltered gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. If you've hung in this far, just keep on it's hanging. Not a commercial. No, <laughs> surprisingly. <laughs> but if you call now, yeah. for the low, low price. Uh, anyways, we got a good show. we got a lot to talk about uh, for you guys. Uh, first of all, thanks for listening. Thanks for telling all your friends. Uh, I've been checking the numbers. And so this week, the shout out goes back to Ottawa. Wow. Canada's God, repping dang. again. Damn. Damn. Yes. A. <laughs> yeah. Those, <laughs> those hosers uh, Man. must like their craft beer. Some crazy Canucks up there. Yeah. <laughs> It, or that, or they're probably like, man, these Americans are fucking retarded. Oh yeah, <laughs> really? Let's listen to you stupid Americans again. Yeah, <laughs> are they any of the Canadian teams in the hockey thing? I don't know. Oh they're no, it's say maybe they're bored because there's no Canadian. Probably teams in the yeah, it's Pittsburgh and Nashville. Oh, in oh yeah. so yeah, first time in what the history of hockey that a Canadian team's not in it, so they probably. have nothing else to do but listen to <laughs> <Yeah>. our show. <laughs> That, that sounds about right. It's I wonder sad. a Canadian team does do they ever win it? Win it? It seems like it's always from the states. Aren't they always like you know, like the. Like, well, this is, I'm trying to think of a, yeah, never mind. Yeah. yeah, I know we've been spending too much time Way too talking much. about, yeah, yeah. Talking yeah. about yeah. such a dude. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, intro ever. shout out to yeah, shout yeah. out to Canada. Sorry, Canadians, uh, yeah. we offended yeah. you. We deeply, deeply apologize. Yeah, we meant to. Uh, don't forget, everybody, the Fat Tire Drink Up coming up. We need your <laughs> reviews by June 18th. Get them to us. Email the unfiltered gentleman at gmail.com, or of course, you can leave a voicemail. Dan's cracking up. 805 538 beer. It's 2337. What's so funny? I don't think we've ever run out of music before. Oh, <laughs> <The intro laughs> has gone. it's been quiet. <laughs> well, we had a lot of hockey stuff to talk about <laughs> <laughs> and infomercial. Oh, man, I'm like thrown off over here. Billy Mays will be missed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yes, yeah, so all you got to do, it's simple. I just posted something yesterday on Facebook. There's two steps one, drink fat tire. I think you can all oh, procure yeah. it fairly okay. easy. It's like the easiest craft beer in the world to get. Sure. Uh, step one, drink it. Step two, review it. Review. Yeah, either uh, type it out in email or tweet or whatever, or you can leave us a voicemail. You can use your little uh, handy-dandy voice memo app on your phone and just email us the, the file or whatever. Burp. <laughs> That's all mine's going to be. <laughs> get drunk on it and then call us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was drunk for a trier. Oh, my God. Steve Sarkazian? Wow. Yeah. Maybe he should review it. Uh, that's all you gotta do. So please join us in the fat tire drink up. June eighteenth is the deadline, and then on uh, batch fifty, we'll be we'll be talking about it and, and listening to everybody's review. So it'll be a good time. Uh, also, don't forget to get our ringtone, and uh, most importantly, don't forget to hashtag show us your beers. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. you better do that. Yeah, we want to see what you're drinking. That's right. Uh, all naked and unfiltered, like <laughs> oh yeah, the beer that is. 
Cover no, up your cans with cans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a good like charity, like cans for cans. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be good? Yeah. Like donate your cans and then like the recycled there money could go. go to breast cancer. <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> yeah. Cans for cans. For now though, we could just start the hashtag cans for cans and you yeah. just cover up your cans with yeah. cans. Yeah. And see what we get on that yeah, hashtag. Yeah, why not? Yeah. I just go for strippers. There you, we go. Yeah. You could do that to make it an awareness for something. Yeah. Cans you for know? cans. Yeah. I like where this is going. We'll have to work this one out, maybe off the air. Yeah. Yes. Let's have a meeting. Yes. Meeting of the minds. Meeting adjourned. Uh, all right. Before we get any further, uh, and you'll appreciate this, everybody, let's talk about what we're drinking. Grab your libations, pals. It's time for beer of the week. And if you're drinking well, you know that you're my friend, and I say, I think, I think I'll, I'll have myself a beer. Give it up. All right. These beers come to us compliments of our very own It's the Beer Girl. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really? Thank She's, you, Beer Girl. She sent these to us a while yeah. back, and uh, they've been in the fridge. Keeping cold for Thanks, us. Thanks, nice. Dale. That's awesome. Yes. Thank you. So two beers. We're going East Coast with this one. The first we have here is Fort Hill Brewery's Fresh Pick I- IPA. Oh, yeah. I like it already. <laughs> <laughs> this baby is uh, rocking a 7%. Ooh, and uh, I'd like Dan to tell me what he thinks the IBUs on this are after he has yeah, a You know, it's, I like it because I can smell it already. Like, so it's, let me see. It's got to be something, something high. Let me take a sip. He's sipping. Let me take a sip here. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um,. I don't know. I'm getting distracted by all the citrusy in there, but yeah. I'm gonna say I'm gonna give it maybe about what about 75, 80. Oh, okay, okay. It's a lot lower than that. Ooh. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. You have any guesses? Um, I was gonna guess higher, but since you said that, I'm gonna say uh, I 50. Say, I shouldn't say anything. It's 50 on the dot. Really? Oh, yeah, got I'm, it. I'm good. So I thought this was interesting because I had a little sip and I was like, oh, it's got a nice little hop to it. And then I read that I was like. This is apparently not super hoppy, wow. right? Um, at least not super bitter. And I think what does it is there's like that grassy, earthy texture. Correct. And I think that kind of replaces some of that hop, uh, you know, number. Correct. For the, for lack think, of a better term. I think you're right because, um, yeah, like in, in the taste itself, like you said, there's not that that bitterness that you come you know, that mm-hmm. comes with the IPA, you know, with the uh, the IBUs. Right. But uh, like I said, the citrus and everything kind of distracts you from that, and it yes. still tastes good, and you can still smell it. So yeah, pours real nice. Mm-hmm. It's got a little bit of cloud to it, uh, not a whole lot of head. I would say, like Dan, a lot of citrus in there. Um, yeah, some pine, some grass, kind of those earthier IPA flavors. I agree. Um, and it's and it's tasty. Yeah. This one has an 89 from both Beer Advocate and the Bros. So oh, okay. a respectable score. Yeah, eighty nine. Sounds like they're uh, they're copying each other's work there. Yeah, <laughs> like ah, we don't want to seek it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what everybody else say? Yeah, eighty nine sounds right. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, if you'll all switch to your other glasses, we are now drinking Treehouse Brewing's Julius. I have been looking forward to this one for months and months and months. Ever since I heard about, it. I think the beer girl reviewed it uh, early on in the show's history. I have been very excited about this one. This, uh, let's, let's all have a little drinky poo. Sure. Mm-hmm. That sounds about right. I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> yes, please. So this one is a lot different, I would say, than the uh, the other one. Uh-huh. Not so much on the earthy grass, pine, that kind of stuff. No. Uh, but quite delicious. Mm-hmm. It has a 7% on the... Uh, ABV there. Okay. Excuse me, six and a half percent. Oh, okay. Uh, it's, it's nice. It's refreshing. I think it's very drinkable. Yeah. I think this goes down smoothly. Mm-hmm. A hundred on BA. Ooh. The bros give it a 97. Holy wow. shit. Mm-hmm. That's what she sent like this whole way. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So uh, a, a perfect 100 from the listener, or the listeners, the reviewers. Oh, my God. And then 97 from the bros. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Dale. Mm-hmm. That's, man, it's killing it. Do you guys have a favorite between the two? Ooh. You know, I gotta say, I think I like the um, the first one, the f- fresh pick, fresh pick. Yes, yes, correct. I think I dig that one, man. Like, I don't know, just something about like, I don't know, maybe I'm just in a citrusy mood today. I don't know, like, <laughs> but I, I think that, like just the aroma, just and the taste, uh, just uh, and and it does taste like there's more IBUs in there, but there isn't. But you mm. know, it, it does taste good. I just oh, I dig it. By the way, this one has 72. I forgot to. Oh, okay. Yeah, this one... Um, yeah, I don't trust my, my sensors anymore with that. I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. I got thrown off on the last one. <laughs> yeah, it was a trick question. I fucked you yeah, up Yeah, it's there. okay. 
Uh, this one I get a lot more tropical. Like the first one was a lot citrusy, a lot citrusy, a lot more citrusy. Uh, this one I think is a lot more tropical. Um, maybe some passion fruit in there. That yes. Kind of stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. It almost like I mean it, it's you know obviously it still tastes like a beer, but um I don't know. There's it's almost like a. Uh, I feel healthy drinking this beer. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, like breakfast. Yeah. Ooh, breakfast beer. <laughs> yeah. I love a good breakfast beer. Yeah, like it almost oh, tastes yeah. like, a, like a, not like an orange juice, but like it tastes like it could be healthier like for you. I don't know. I'm digging it. Yeah, here's what I would say. I'd say the uh, the fresh pick mm-hmm. is the one I would go to on a hot, sweaty day mm-hmm. when you're like, God damn, it's, it's 98 degrees or yeah. whatever and your balls are just dripping and you're yeah. like, I need something to cool off. Yeah. I'm going fresh pick. Put out this bowl soup. And- yeah. <laughs> In a second, right now, <laughs> sop it up over here. <laughs> but I think if I'm gonna sip on something slowly, maybe with dinner, something like that, something yeah. I'm looking to pair, I think I might go Julius for that one. I think they're they're quite different and not easily scienced together. Mm-hmm. I don't know. So, anyways, orange Julius. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Have it for breakfast. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, so very good. Uh, thank you, Dale. Make sure you check her out. It's the beer Of course, all the social medias. It's the beer girl. She talks about her beers and reviews them and all that good stuff. And she'll uh, be back on the show next week reviewing another beer. Nice. Awesome. Thank yes. you. Um, all right. Before we move on to uh, crutch talk and stuff, I want to mention that Earth and Fire, which is the brewery up in Paso Robles, California, had the uh, brewers slash owners on. Jeez, man, we're approaching like eight or nine months ago. Um, they are having their one year anniversary. So if you guys are in the area, hit up there July 1st for Earth and Fire's anniversary. Say what's up to Nick and Nolan. Tell them you heard about it here. Mm-hmm. They have good beer. It's going to be, I'm, I'm burping like crazy. It's <laughs> going to be a good party and uh, it should be a lot of fun. And I think I forgot to mention that our, our burp word of the week is East Coast beer as ah, I burp. It is. Oh, yes. East Coast beer. That burp reminded you. You did actually. I was like, <laughs> oh, I don't think I ever said it. <laughs> anyways, like, go what check. do I say? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so go check out the Fire's anniversary party on July 1st. All right, let's talk about us. Have a grievance to share? It's time for a crotch talk. Uh, Scott's got, are we calling this a grievance? Um, nah, yes and no. I okay. mean, it's kind of a, like a roller coaster ride. Oh. Yeah. No. Roller, roller coaster. coaster. My, my emotional <laughs> roller coaster on uh-huh. this trip. I actually took, a, I guess, a road trip, a mini vacation or whatever, which is something I never do. So uh, mm-hmm. I just kind of thought I'd just share my uh, adventures. Yeah. Are you I, like super old man style? Or are you renting an RV and just toured the country? <laughs> Not oh, that bad. It's almost, though. It's almost. <laughs> <laughs> Hot chicken and Ferrari pulls yeah. up. <laughs> it, it's very close. They did a lot of old man things. Oh. With, uh, so it, it, as it started out, we ended up at LAX, and we're waiting in line to, mm-hmm. and some fucking idiots decided, and there's a whole group of people that I don't know if they're on the same bus or whatever, but their flight was at 11.45, for somehow they decided that they needed to be first in line because they're running late. No. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and a few of them got by, a few of them went in there, and some of the workers at the airport were telling them, no, get, get in line, get in line. The hell and then it, uh, they think they are the McAllisters? Yeah, just run just through like, the fucking you airport? Just, yeah, you're just so <laughs> special, you just run right up there. <laughs> yeah. And it's one of the one of the moments I've been more never been more proud of my wife was when one of the ladies she's just in a frantic mood she runs up and we're we're first in line now we're uh-huh. waiting for the next to open and she's just all in a panic she runs up to my she goes oh can you please let me in front of the line because we're our fight's at eleven forty five and we're running late then it's a long line and my wife looks at her and she goes do you see these people in line behind me and the lady looks and she goes do you know how many people in line have the same flight as you and they're standing in line waiting and you're better than them. <laughs> and, wow. then the, and then this bitch had the nerve to look at, at, at the people online. She goes, How many people are on my flight? And everybody's oh, just looking at her like, You stupid up. bitch. And by the time they were calling us to come up next in line, and one of the workers at the airport was walking up to this lady saying, Hey, you know, go get in line and stop being a stupid bitch. Yeah, now you're yeah. wasting more time. Yeah, there you go. exactly. We got on the, on the plane and. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. We arrive in Chicago. Though. We met up with my brother-in-law and his wife, my wife's brother. And then we flew to the big, huge metropolis of Rapid City, South Dakota. Woo! Huge <laughs> airport there. You walk from one end to the other in about two minutes. Mm. The thing I loved about it is we're coming in for a landing. As you know, like when you come in for a landing at LAX, you see like cars and houses and just right. crap everywhere. Here you see, like, here's a house here, then a bunch of green. There's a house over here, then a bunch of green. Like, oh, man, this is so nice. So when you land in Florida, it's like, oh, there's an alligator. (laughs) There's an alligator. Some green. An alligator. There's a dead guy. (laughs) There's a guy eating the dead guy. (laughs) (laughs) There's an old man walking in, not knowing where he's at, pants on. 
So we, we went from Rapid City. We're on our way to a place called Keystone, but on the way we stopped at a place called Crazy Horse. Oh, which is becoming which is a strip club in Vegas. <laughs> Hell yeah! So I've heard. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is nothing like it. Oh. This is, I guess, soon to be a monument. Crazy Horse, I guess, was the Indian that killed Custer. Right. Yeah. So um, they're building a monument, and it's a like a whole little area. But they're building a monument, and what happened was when they started building it, the government came in and told the Indians, "Is hey, you know, if you want to make it a national monument, we'll take over. We'll you know." pay the bill, we'll get the workers in here, we'll get it done. Mm -hmm. Well, the Indians, or I'm sorry, the Native Americans. How dare you. How dare you. Yes, I know. (laughs) I'm a racist pig. Um, They said, no, we want to do it ourselves. We'll just do it on donations and all this kind of crap. And the government said, okay, whatever. This is like in the 50s or 60s or whatever. And so far, they've got the face done. They want to build the the face and the the whole body riding on a horse. Smash cut 60 (laughs) years later. (laughs) So they got their face done so I can so hear far. Hill Hauser right now. <laughs> Time has passed. <laughs> <laughs> there he said, well, you know, we won't see it in our lifetime, but one of these days we're going to see the whole sure statue for Crazy Horse. So anyway, we spent some time God there. Dang. That was pretty exciting. We went to Mount Rushmore. Everybody knows where Mount Rushmore is. Oh, right? wow, cool. Yeah, we saw the, the presidents up there. Heard it looks just like the picture. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, it does. It's exactly like the picture. I could have just sat at home, looked at the picture, and gotten drunk at home. But you know, <laughs> funny how that works. Yeah, uh-huh. and we stayed at a place called Keystone, North Dakota, which has nothing to do with the beer because I didn't God. see any Keystone beer there. Thank God. <laughs> we got there, and there's a. We stopped at a little restaurant called Ruby's. Uh, we asked them, "What's your local beer?" And they said, "Well, the one that we make here is." I thought she said, "Angry Redhead." Which is, I guess, not it because I can't find it anywhere. Oh. But anyway, so we, hey, I'll try that, and it was really good. It was good beer, and when she gives a little glass of beer, we drank it. So she comes back later. I was, I'm with my brother-in-law who thinks he's a drinker, but he's not. I think we've talked about it on the show. He likes I, to pretend yeah. he can drink with right. you, and then cracks right. open a Bud Light That's, and passes out. He, <laughs> <talks> <laughs> he talks all afternoon. Yeah, me and Scott are going to drink tonight. Yeah, um, water. So the next day we get up. Oh, oh we stop by a, a winery on the way to Hewlett. Okay. And it's called Red Ass Winery. Red yeah. Ass. Red Ass Winery. Hmm. We stopped in there and uh, they had wine sampling. They said you can sample five wines for free. Oh. And not the not a full glass, right, right. unfortunately. Those snobby bastards out here in California are like $10 for your samples. Yeah. So that's good. So wow. five for free. So I'm the only one that sampled. So I was like, yeah, sure, the driver, I'll sample. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get that road juice. Come <laughs> on, <laughs> man. Yeah. So we, yeah, it was all right. I'm not right. a wine person. So, you know, I pretended I like it so they'd keep giving me more. Yeah, so you start making up words like, oh, this is full of... Tannins. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just do like the wine thing. I'd smell, smell it, and it, swirl, swirl it, it yeah. sip it. You so know, if you really want to look like you know what you're doing, like like tilt it until it almost pours out of the glass ah, and then spin it. See. And what you're watching is, is for the, the wine to drip back down. Oh, okay. Yeah. I remember what does that, that tell you? Uh, how strong the alcohol is. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. If it sticks to the glass, that means it's boozier. Ah, oh, okay. Interesting. Um, so, yeah, I, I did my wine tasting. Uncultured. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, we have a brewery down the hill. I'm like, why didn't you tell me that sooner? Yeah. I would have been down there banging on the door. So we get down there. It's like 10.30 in the morning. down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> so I drove down the hill on a wine buzz. <laughs> and rolled it a couple of times like a D-fish. Uh, and we got to the, to the brewery, and it was 10.30. And unfortunately, they don't start serving until uh, 11. So uh, they, you know, we went in there, and we talked to them for a little bit, and they you know, <clears> told us a little bit about the brewery. And, uh, I wonder if. Your experience is like what people have when they listen to our show. Like you went down there and they just talked about their beer. <laughs> yeah. You didn't actually get to drink it. People exactly listening like, right now yeah. and, they're, and their earbuds are in their car like, well, that beer sure sounds good. I wish I could <laughs> fucking drink it right about now. Yeah. It, it's like one of our listeners I was telling you about. He's, yeah. He listens and he's under 21 and he told me I had to stop listening to your show because I wanted to drink so bad and I can't. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, so you had to walk out of the brewery because you want to drink so bad. <laughs> it happens. You want to commit That's a felony. Right. I, yeah. I was gonna about ready to you know, strangle somebody. Right. So anyway, we left there. Um, <laughs> Your wife's like, I've seen that look before. <laughs> <laughs> we, we ended up in Hewlett. It's close to a place called Devil's Rock. Um, it's a, like a huge, I don't know, rock, I guess. A oh, mountain, right. whatever. Oh, okay. And then you can like take a... Oh, wow. Exactly. <laughs> you can like, there's like trails to go hiking, but you can't climb it. Well, you can climb it. Here's where the story gets good. Oh, finally. That's really good. <laughs> wake up, wake up. Now it's getting good. <laughs> As we're walking along this hiking trail. Here we go. <laughs> here comes a group of people like EMTs and official looking people. They're oh. walking down the hill with a dead body. Yeah. 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 
And you know, the guy was in a he was in a body bag. You can't see what it looked like or anything. Mm-hmm. Apparently, what happened is some guys were climbing and he fell. Oh, and smart. he was killed. Yeah, wow. Darwinism. Yeah, at its finest. Yeah, Darwinism. yeah. So <laughs> yeah, so that you know, finally something exciting happened in the awesome. trip. And yeah, we went after we left there. We went down to like the store down the hill, mm-hmm. and his little group was down there talking about it. And, you know, what? A, you know, he's a nice guy. You know, we feel bad. And it was weird. Fred's they were like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they weren't you know like freaking out like, oh my god, how could that happen? You know, there's like he was such a nice guy. You know, and wow, it's just it's a shame. He knew what he he knew his shit and all this kind of stuff. So in comes with the brother-in-law drinking thing. I went to the store and they had a beer called Bitch Creek Beer. Okay. I said, hey, it sounds good. Yeah. So I bought some. I bought a six pack, and he's like, "Yeah, later when we get back, you know, we'll drink some some beer." I said, "Yeah, it sounds good." So we get back, and he's like, "Oh, actually, on our second beer, he drank like half of it, and he goes, you know what? I'm done. I can't drink anymore.' I'll take that. <laughs> yep. So we get back, and I'm like, "You, you want to come up? You know, get a get a beer? No, no, I can't. So I I drank the whole six pack. I didn't want to waste it. No, so, why not? Do the yeah, Lord's work. Exactly." And then the next day was really exciting. We got up. We went to a rodeo. Okay. Yes, sir. It was Yeehaw. kids. Kids. Kids rodeo. Oh. You know, they're out like, oh. Uh, we went to Cheyenne River City or something like that. We had some not, more beer there and had a mm. little lunch there. And uh, the big highlight of the day, we went to church. Oh, God. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're all Catholic, so they had to do their little Catholic gotta thing. Got to do it. And, and I'm always, you know, thinking about work and, you know, the yes. show and everything, even when I'm on vacation, the beer that I selected for that night, a six pack of fat tire. Mm. Oh, yes, indeed. You're prepping for the drink up. Yes, Do indeed. That. I got warmed up for that. So uh, I drank my fat tire. I invited my brother in law once again. Hey, come on up, have a beer. This time he actually came over, uh, stopped off in Denver and had a couple of good local Denver beers and there then you headed go. back to this hell that we call LA. Oh, so, welcome back. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Too bad you so, didn't get to leave the airport in Denver, because uh, let me tell you, there's some good beers in town. That's what I heard. Yeah, mm-hmm. I heard there's a lot of good breweries. But I asked this one bartender, go, what's a good local beer? And she's like, well, everything here is local. And she just you know waves at the thing. It's like the Coors and everything. I'm like, right. you know, that's not it's like quite what I Rockies, had in bro. mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, there's another guy there that you know knew what I was talking about, so he sh- pointed me to a couple of good ones. And I told right. you it's an old person trip. It, very much. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, mine's not nearly as exciting. I bet. <laughs> but um, good news for you guys. Mm-hmm. I bottled my stout last week. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Brewed the stout. Bottle. That's the one that exploded. That I post pictures on uh, Instagram and all that for. That's right. Uh, bottled it. Here's what I did. Half of it bottled as is. The other half, I dumped some cold brew coffee into. Bottle it with some coffee. So, Ooh. oh, really? I get uh, a regular chocolate stout and a coffee chocolate stout. Nice. I tried it uncarbonated. The coffee's really good. Oh, so we'll look forward to that in a couple of few weeks. Sounds good. I uh, got a porch bomb from Mike. That, of course, is a beer trade I mentioned earlier. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they, they call them you know, like porch bombs on on the Instagrams and stuff. Ah, this one really was a porch bomb because I got it like a week and a half ago, ish, maybe approaching two weeks at this point. I remember, and literally last night. We're sitting there watching TV, having a beer or two, and all of a sudden, I was like, what the fuck is that? I immediately assumed that one of my freshly bottled uh, stouts opened has become a beer bomb. Oh. And, you know, opened up and, yeah. you know, exploded, whatever. And I'm looking like, nope, nothing there. And then it stops, and I'm listening, and I don't hear anything. And I'm yelling at the, the lady friend, like, turn off the fucking TV. I can't hear, like, where this is coming from. <laughs> uh-huh. Ran around the kitchen like a madman. I finally opened up the pantry. And one of the beers that was in that beer trade had just busted. Oh, fuck. It had been sitting there for over a week. It was so weird. Wow. Yeah. So uh, luckily, I have those glasses that, that stay in the freezer and like make your beer cold instantly. Oh, yeah. So okay. I was able to rescue it. So I pulled it out, immediately opened it so it stopped exploding. Wow. And, okay. Uh, was able to rescue it. It's actually really good. I thought a porch bomb, though, was a bag of dookie on your <laughs> So I was like, dang, man. That's what it was back in the day. <laughs> porch bomb from yeah. Mike. So that was, I had a, it was special drops from Aslan Brewing. It was really ah, good. Ah, okay. Um, so yeah, so thank you, listener Mike, for that. I got a few more to try. And a couple that we're going to have on the show, too. Uh, cool news. We hit 500 followers on Instagram. Whoa. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So we're kind of fucking popular now. Yeah. I guess we should do like a giveaway. Maybe I should give away some beer or something. Yeah. I was thinking give maybe. Give away beer? Yeah. Like maybe do like a homebrew giveaway or get a couple California beers and oh, give them snaps. away or something. So uh, stay tuned to our Instagram for that. The yeah. Unfiltered yeah. No kidding. 
<laughs> you might be going to get an Instagram. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know how I could get an Instagram account now. Yeah. I got to find this Insta book thing. What's this here? Yeah. <laughs> And finally, I had to mention, just because I'm such a huge Back to the Future fan, this dude in Santa Clarita bought a DeLorean, like, because he's a huge <laughs> oh, Back yeah. to the Future fan. That day, he got pulled over and got a ticket for doing 88 on oh the freeway. Oh, my God. 88 yeah. miles <laughs> per hour. <laughs> <laughs> I would fucking frame that ticket. I know. Yeah, no I kidding. Would, yeah, I would fucking frame that. That so. should be, like, the vehicle's, like, top speed. Like, it should not be allowed to go any faster than 88 miles per hour. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know what's funny? I was with some chick one time that was driving. And she got pulled over. She was literally doing 88. Oh, Cops like, you know how fast you're going? She's like, I don't know, like 75. He's like, 88. <laughs> and I'm in the passenger. Like, <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to go back to the future. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, uh, all right, let's uh, let's talk a little sports. Yay. Whether it's the Baltimore chop or the one-two punch, it's time for sports. So the NBA Finals are uh, well. We're balls deep in that. Did they start? Yeah. Someone want to tell the Cavs? <laughs> yeah. Oops, Oops. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Game two uh, is over. It's it's two zero for the the Warriors so yeah. far, and uh, that's really all there is to talk about. Yeah. The, yeah. Pretty. The much. Cavs are lucky you can't uh, carry points over to the next game because <laughs> they'd be down by like eighty right now. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah. Now is this going to be a repeat of before where the Warriors went up two and then the Cavs figured out a way to? I don't think so, man. It doesn't look like it. No. I, I think even that three to one last year was like you know because Draymond Green was donkey kicking everybody <laughs> you know what I mean so he missed that game in Oakland the Cavs were able to turn around game six they went back to Cleveland they were able mm-hmm. to win that and all they had to do was win game seven yeah you know what I mean so I, I think at this point they got Draymond now they have Kevin Durant I mean this is no yeah. there's no you know and LeBron's a year older the team yeah I don't think it's is not performing that well not a surprise and the Warriors had 21 turnovers in game two and still won the game they're yeah. not they're not very careful with the ball they're not they're, they're like fuck it yeah, everybody on this team can drain threes, so yeah. we don't give a shit. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. We all drain threes, and and Draymond cleans up by kicking people in the balls. They they play basketball way my bar, my brother used to play video game basketball, where it's just <laughs> carelessly throw the ball everywhere, find the open guy, shoot a three, he's gonna make it. Like it's NBA Jam hot spots. Yeah, exactly. Fifteen points from uh, full court. <laughs> Everyone's on fire. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Derek Fisher flips his car, gets arrested for DUI. Yikes. Yeah. He's, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, wow! Can somebody clean up that microphone? Please? <laughs> uh, I guess this begs the question: Was he being chased by Matt Barnes? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah. You know, Matt his... Barnes is going to troll him with something too. Right? He's going to laugh at him on. That's my wife in your car. God yeah. damn it! Oh, I know. Yeah, Matt's hanging out the sunroof. Like, get away from your wife. <laughs> <laughs> She's mine. <laughs> she used to be yeah. mine. I want yeah. her back. Uh, Lonzo Ball says uh, he designed his five hundred dollars shoes in about three or four hours. No. Wow. Yeah. Why Take not? Me. Yeah. I yeah, I thought about that too when I read that. I was like, how long would it take me to design a shoe really? I mean it's like, well, you put your foot in there yeah, and you know, right. the what hole. size am I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make it squishy and yeah. Yeah. Hey, I got flat feet, so not too much on the arch there. Let's see. <laughs> Give me that cardboard box. Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> some much. holes and some strings in it. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Good to go. Find a shoe that I like. Like, all right, why don't we paint this a different color? <laughs> it's not like put a, a number on yeah. it. Yeah. At least somebody was working on it because it's not like Nike did it or anything, isn't it? Like Baller Brand or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's his dad's. Yeah, fake so shoe somebody brand. had to come up yeah, with that yeah. shit. Well, they Nike were... wouldn't pay the one billion to sign them to their <laughs> yeah. shoe deal. So <laughs> stupid Nike. Come yeah, on. how dare they? They're gonna be sorry. I want to see about how much a four hour shoe costs now. With like with four hundred dollars, <laughs> four ninety five. Yeah, four ninety five four hour shoe. I wonder if they come in size sixteen. <laughs> I doubt it. Probably not. It's so hard to find shoes. <laughs> yes, ladies, I wear a size 16 shoe. <laughs> and it is true what they say. I do have big socks. There you Ooh, go. Yeah. Ooh, take Brrr. that. Uh, good news for Steve Sarkazian. He might have found himself a second job. All right. Oh. Uh, yeah. Appearing in commercials because the NFL will now allow liquor ads during All right. NFL games. About time. Yeah. yeah. No kidding. Patron's got Sark on speed dial. The <laughs> <laughs> spokesperson for Patron, Steve Sarkazian. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. That's all that's going to be dominating the, the commercial airwaves now is beer and liquor. And <laughs> That's I might it. watch the commercials now. Yeah. <laughs> no, right? That's what I was thinking. I won't have to start the game a half hour late to yeah. skip the commercials. It'd be great. So, oh, that'd be great right now. Mm-hmm. That's a good idea. I'm gonna get me some. That's right. Yep. 
Uh, Seahawks have signed quarterback Austin Davis over signing Kaepernick. Oh, no. Yeah. And I, the article I read was saying that Kaepernick fans are pissed. I was like, what, all what? three of them? <laughs> Does parents? he still have some? Yeah. No, no. His parents be, and the yeah. uh, thou who shall not be spoken, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. Is anybody else a fan besides them? Everybody's kneeling for Cap right now. Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, Rex and Rob Ryan, the, the toe sucking brothers, <laughs> were in a bar fight. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. After the uh, Predators Penguins game. Oh, shit. Night. Really? Yeah. Apparently, they're big Predators fans. And since they're both jobless, they've been following them around during the Stanley Cup, whatever. The Predators? Yeah. What Who the knew fuck? they had fans? No Who knew kidding. hockey had fans? No kid. I heard the fight was more exciting than the game. I'm sure. And it was just like a two second fight. I'd yeah. watch them fight people. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah. Wouldn't yeah. it be great? Yeah. This Dude, just in our Ottawa listeners have turned off the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, man, like, you know, I, I can imagine those two drinking, a, you know, having a beer at the bar and just oh, yeah. thinking, look at those fuckers. They're going to fight somebody. I already yeah. know it, man. I'd like to have a beer or two with those fellas. No Why kidding. not? Yeah. Look, at those, look at those fucking penguin fans over there. Those pussies. Let's go kick their ass. Yeah. yeah. Let's get them. Yeah. <laughs> they took our germ. <laughs> and Rob's got to go in first because he's the one with the crazy hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's more frightening. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, War Machine, UFC fighter War oh, Machine, yeah. was sentenced uh, to 36 years for, what was it, like two years ago now that he attacked uh, Christy Mack, his then yeah. ex, I yeah. guess, girlfriend, now ex, or whatever, attacked her and some guy at her house and, and beat her up for like two hours before she finally escaped. Oh, that's right. Yeah, oh, that was yeah. insane. I mean, she was rough. She up. was that's fucked up. Right. He I remember dental that. Dental implants and I mean, all, yeah. you know, hospital. And when he got checked in, like his emergency contact was Ken Shamrock. Remember that? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I broke that news. <laughs> <laughs> that's on right. A, I forgot an, about on another that. podcast. Uh, on a previously <laughs> yeah. uh, aforementioned show. That's true. Uh, wow. That's that's right. How great is it that your emergency contact is the most dangerous man in the world? That's right, man. Yeah. That's scary. Yeah, so uh, he's in jail. That's a shame. He'll be missed. He will. Best fighting news of the week, though. Ric Flair breaks his hand. Woo! He claims he punched a Warriors fan. <laughs> <laughs> Good for him. Yeah, mm. he had a picture on Instagram of him with a cast on his on his uh, right hand, his punching hand, and uh, it says he punched a Warriors fan. He's a big Cavs. Guy. Is he really? Yes. Yeah. I thought he'd be a. Uh, a Hornets fan, or no, a Pelicans fan now, right? Isn't Some? he from New Orleans? Flair? No, he's, no, he's from, from uh, South Carolina. Yeah. Oh, North, that's North Carolina? right. South, one of the South, Carolinas. Think, that's yeah. right. That's right. The Emerald City, whatever so that Whoever's is. over there. Oh, yeah, Charlotte. Yeah. Duh. Charlotte. Oh, yeah. yeah. The Bob, the, are these the Bobcats? Well, I was just thinking about his, I don't know. his daughter. Charlotte. Right. Oh, that's Charlotte. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Just thought about that. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a Charlotte fan, now that you mentioned it. Yeah. yeah, me too. Yeah. Who doesn't like Charlotte? True that. Um, Vegas says that the the 2017 Warriors oh, would have beat the was it 94 72 win Bulls 96 96 yeah I don't know about that with today's rules maybe I yeah. mean I think they'd kick with, with yeah. today's ability to, to travel and yeah. all this other bullshit well no I mean just like they'd probably kick Michael Jordan out in 15 minutes for cursing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you can't say fucking basketball what are you talking about could you imagine MJ like what <laughs> <laughs> so what the fuck are you talking about get the fuck out of here Michael you're crazy oh you're so right yeah Dennis Rodman kicked out for showing up in a dress <laughs> yeah. just showing up yeah Forget um, it. Some guy named Alex Honnold climbs El Capitan in Yosemite without any ropes. Uh, did not end up how your uh, pal. Yeah, I was thinking about that right now. Yeah. My pal looked like more of a pussy. He yeah, had a rope. Right? My pal. <laughs> yeah, he was the first guy to do it without a rope uh, ever. Did that. And finally, in sports news, Peyton Manning went golfing with Donald Trump. Nice. <laughs> oh, <did he> really? <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. So uh, I guess they like to golf together. There you go. Mm-hmm. I guess instead of yelling four, he yells Omaha. <laughs> <laughs> Omaha. Wow. Get his Omaha iron out. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So anyways. All right. Both myself and Dan have, have seen movies. Wow. Yeah. This is a festivist miracle. This is a great show. <laughs> so Dan's going to talk about a movie, and then I shall talk. Yeah. Have you seen the latest moving picture? Let's talk movies for guys. All right. So over the weekend, I watched uh, John Wick uh, Chapter 2. And uh, that movie stars Keanu Reeves. And if uh, if you've seen the, the first one, you understand that it's a movie about where this guy is just like this ultimate hitman. And uh, uh, he loses his wife. Red Heart? <laughs> no. Oh. No. No, I'm sorry. The ultimate hitman that doesn't wear pink. Oh. <laughs> sorry. Fair. Okay. So um, 
So he, he he loses his wife to I think cancer or something like that, and before she dies, she gives him this little dog, this little adorable little um, can't remember what kind of dog it is, a uh, little beagle I think it is. Okay. And, you know, the, she says like that's like she does it right before she dies, so it's like an extension of herself, so that you know he has someone to care for while she's gone. I'm like, oh wow, that's deep, man. Mm. So in the first one, so she's deep for Keanu. <laughs> yeah. So so in the first one, like these bad guys come in and they take his car and they kill his dog and but that's you know that's what just sets him off is killing the dog so if you know if you like dogs and you're a dog lover that this is a pretty cool movie where you know the dog dies yeah but he goes back and he just murders everybody just for for the dog basically <laughs> <laughs> so there's there's not a lot of uh thinking in this movie involved you just kind of watch it um and th- that's what's cool about the the second one is uh i could quote co- go through the plot you know whereas you know he he, uh, he, he needs to, uh, he turns down a, a, a favor from someone. <laughs> he turns down for what? <laughs> he turns down a, a, a request from someone to kill another person. And uh, this guy just goes nuts and blows up his house. The dog oh, lives shit. this time. You know, because he has another dog. Oh, he got a new oh, dog. Yeah, he's got a new dog. It's a pit bull. I thought and, it was uh, Jesus dog or something. <laughs> no, no, this dog lives. Zombie and, dog. uh, <laughs> yeah, that would be a good movie. <laughs> but uh, it's Wolf Cop's little brother. <laughs> no, what the hell, dude? that's what they should do. Um, no, no, no. This dog lives, and uh, so he just goes out. And uh, Keanu Reeves is is killing more people. Uh, the the thing that's kind of hard to believe in this movie is that the first one they make you to believe that Keanu Reeves is this like untouchable badass. Like the people that kill. Uh, John Wick's, you know, they, you killed his dog and you stole his car. They're like, oh my God, I'm so afraid for you. Like, you know, and it's his son. He's like, oh my God, you know, you're going to die. Like, that's what's going to happen. Like, everyone's just so afraid of John Wick. Mm-hmm. And it just makes it seem like, why did they fuck with him? And it seems like in the second one, um, they put a hit out on him. And like, there's like, you know, all these assassins are like trained to like, you know, that like to put like a $7 million hit and all these assassins get the, you know, the thing on their phone and everyone's an assassin apparently. You're right. Yeah. And they're just like, everybody oh, shit. Phone. yeah. And not only do they say, oh yeah, you know, everyone's an assassin, but they're like, oh, we just have to kill John Wick. Fine. Like, it's almost like everyone forgot how scary this guy is. <laughs> like, it was like, did we all forget that he just destroyed it's everyone? Like saying all I have to do is beat Dom in a quarter mile race. Yeah. Oh, you can't do that. No. Because that's how he lives his life. Right. <laughs> One quarter. <laughs> One at a time. One quarter mile at a time. <laughs> so, you know, like... I hold can, my Corona fucked up. Yeah, one, I know. One beer at a time. <laughs> so, I kind of I kind of found that, you know, a little unbelievable that everyone would just all of a sudden be like, okay, let's go kill John Wick. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, I'm glad they did, though, because the, the movie itself, I mean, it's just very violent. There's just awesome, like, fight scenes. And, you know, Keanu Reeves isn't really well known for his acting because he That's doesn't sure. do that. You know, yeah. he's terrible. But um, I mean, he, he has been very well trained in like fighting and uh, and using pistols and guns and all kind. Of, I mean, there's a really cool video on YouTube if if you check it out. And he's just surgical with that shit. Like he's just going through a firearm thing, and you just hear ding, ding, ding. Like he's hitting all the targets, just like running through that shit. Bust out a shotgun, boom, boom, boom. It's like. God damn, this guy's fucking awesome, man. Like, <laughs> Too bad he can't act. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, you know, when you do watch these John Wick movies. What's 69, dude? <laughs> Whoa. Like, <laughs> exactly. When you do watch his movies, though, like, uh, y- you are watching, like, the fight scenes. You're right. watching him shoot at people. And, like, you know, he's not just swinging the gun all willy-nilly. He's taking precise aim. And you're really believing that he's doming people, like, right in the head. Like, you know, there's no way he missed. You know right. what I mean? So, you know, he's, he's really good with that. So, in, in that sense, you know, you are dreaming drinking with the movie because nice. i mean yeah i mean it's action filled it's awesome um but like i said i mean don't don't get too wrapped up into the plot or, <laughs> please yeah or don't don't be on your every you know edge of your seat you know hanging on uh, keanu reeves every word because he's not a very good actor right but i mean for what he is is to kick some ass Dude. like this <laughs> this movie does it and if i had to rate it you know maybe about uh i'd give it maybe Mm, six and a half stars probably okay yeah maybe, maybe borderline seven you know just just for the action itself um it really sets itself up for what should be uh, a, a more uh interesting uh third movie oh, yeah has that been confirmed that there'll it, be a third it pretty much is looking okay. up like it's going to be one so it made enough money yeah All right. and and then you know That's the so. way it ended too it just kind of leaves it on like oh shit here we go so like i kind of feel like you know this one wasn't as good as the first one and I have a feeling it might not be as good as the third one, 
But, um, you know, it, for what it is, you want to watch some action and someone kicking some ass and shooting people. Mm-hmm. There you go. There you go. Get yep. your fix. Yep. All right. I'm not going to talk too deeply about this movie because it's very fresh in theater still. But I, over the weekend, saw Wonder Woman. Been wanting to hear about this. Uh, it was actually pretty good. Now, yeah. I will say that I have not seen any of these garbage, you know, Batman v Superman movies. Good for you. This might be my <laughs> first DC movie. I, I watched all the Marvel movies, I think, or most of them at least. Right. This might be my first DC movie as of late. Um, it was actually pretty good. I would definitely go see it. I drank along with, with the beer that I snuck into the theater, not <laughs> to get through. Right. Um, I I will say fair war, and I'm I'm trying to speak broadly because it's very fresh. It's only been out for a few days. Mm-hmm. But I will say that the setup to the plot drags on a little bit. Really? Well, <laughs> that's kind of par for the course yeah. for their movies. I would think. I mean, this movie's over two hours. It, Ooh, yeah. So the setup goes on and. The, the good thing about the setup going on is you're on the island where she's from, and it's just only females. Right. So that's not so bad. Right. And then, uh, you know, Chris Pine shows up at some point. He's he's easy to look at, too. Let's be honest. <laughs> um, and, and the island itself is very vibrant and colorful, right? Like, I mean, oh, yeah. aside it's, it's from, cool like, looking. you know, you, you watch some of these Batman and Superman movies, and it's, yes, like, it's very not super dark, dark yeah. and yeah, grim, and it's like... That one looks very colorful. I was like, holy shit, where the hell am I? It's like yeah, a tropical paradise. Your shit. older plasma TV won't have a problem with that <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so no, it was, but it was good. And then uh, it was fun when she, I mean, I don't think this is giving anything away. She does come to society. For Wait, her, they have plasma TVs now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get her in my tubes. It's right. Um, for one reason or another. And, you know, she's funny because she's never been with humans other than on Well, an okay, island. right. So, and, and so that was that was funny. There were some, some fun jokes with that. Uh, nothing that made me like slap my knee, but the people next to me fucking <laughs> were insane. Like they were apparently huge Wonder Woman fans. At one point, I, I don't remember what was happening. I think it was in the middle of the fight scene or something. The, there was a girl and a guy. The guy gets super excited and starts slapping his girlfriend's leg. Oh my so God. So all of a sudden I just oh, hear wow. this. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? And Put it was him away. like excitedly slapping her leg. Were you oh watching uh, on opening night? Or, yes. Oh my yes. god! Yeah, you got it. People with all were those dressed nerds. up. Oh, oh yeah. No, I was invited. I didn't even, honestly I didn't even know it was opening night. It was Friday. I we were invited, and I was like, oh, apparently it came out tonight. Yeah. Um, but anyways, it was really good. Uh, you know, fight scene was very CG. That mm. was kind of my one downgrade for it. Was a little too CG in my book. Right. Okay. I, you know, I like a little more real blow em up stuff. Yeah. You know. So, but anyways, it was pretty good. I would definitely watch it. Uh, I'd even see it in theaters. You know, that's one of those movies that's fun to see in theaters on the big screen with the good sound and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So, uh, definitely drink with it, not uh, to get through it. Yeah. So it was good awesome. Stuff. Cool. Yeah, I recommend it. Uh, Old timey word of the week: soapy eyed. It's easy. It means you're drunk. Ah, yep. Hey, yeah. that, that's still that, that one stood the test of time. I think soapy eyed. Soapy eyed. Yeah, yeah. I, I think if you never heard before, someone's like, "Hey, man, you look a little soapy eyed." Oh yeah, shit! Go. Oh god! Should I drive? Should yeah. I not drive? Uh huh. Give yeah. it a shot. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's gotta be like, well, I'm going to work. Yeah. <laughs> Uber. It's Uber <laughs> time, baby. That's right. Uh, so soapy eyed. So uh, so when I'm soapy eyed, I see four bubs. Oh, there we go. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> Wondered who was going to take that. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, and. Our favorite part of the show, Beer Babe of the Week. All right. There's nothing better than a babe with craft beer. It's time for Beer Babe of the Week. All right. (laughs) It is absolutely (laughs) time for Beer Babe of the Week. And Scott falls over trying to get himself a beer. Uh, This week's Beer Babe of the Week, her name is Jessica. And you can follow her on Instagram at... Homie, yeah. it's H O H M I E at Homie. It. Yeah, I get arrested. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, the picture we're checking out. She's hiking with a tasty craft beer, uh, and she's uh, not too not too hard yeah, to look looking at. Looking real either. cute there. Yes. So, uh, who wants to go hiking, everybody? All of a sudden, they have the search to hike. I'm yeah. gonna go hiking. Follow the <laughs> beer babe, and maybe yeah. see another dead guy. Did you? <laughs> I haven't yeah. been stalking. I mean, hiking in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So make sure you're following Jessica at homie, H O H M I E. I don't. Uh, well, okay, everybody over. Yeah, crack cheers over to her. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, everybody over there. You get that in stereo? <laughs> <laughs> and right. that wasn't our beers either. <laughs> oh, God. Real quickly, let's talk a little news. Extra, extra, drink all about it. It's time for booze news. Uh, according to the, our friends over at theboozeleague.com, California is trying to pass some legislation that will move 
Last call from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. Oh, yeah. I wholeheartedly they support They got my this. vote. Yes. yes. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. I, if you want to get me out to the polls, this is how. There you go. I will show <laughs> up to vote go. for this one. Uh, so please make that happen. Maine, the state of Maine is sending a Maine beer box, which is a, uh, a semi-trailer that's been converted into basically a bar. It's got tons and tons of taps with a bunch of beer in it. Oh, man. Up to Iceland for their Bjor Festival. Bjor Festival. Apparently, Bjor means beer. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Easy enough. Sound it uh, out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bjor. Bjor. <laughs> Yeah, some beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Oh, it's drunk for beer. Yeah. Yeah. I another beer. Oh, I like shoot. it. That was good. Um, Maui's Bre- Maui Brewing has debuted a hemp beer just in time for Maui's Hemp History Week. It's only a matter of time, people, before we got THC and beer. There you go. Here, yeah. hey, almost there. Two birds. One cup. I cannot. <laughs> wait. Oh wait, that sounds dirty. Oops. Uh, but anyways, cannot wait for that. That'll be very exciting. Um, what else? A guy. Have you? Did you guys? It was unfortunate. The attacks in London last week were uh, saddening <laughs> and all that stuff. Yeah. And, and not to make light of the attacks, but did you guys see the picture of the guy running with a beer? No. Yes. This. Yeah. This hero was escaping <laughs> yes. from all the madness and and crime and killing and running over and all that stuff. Uh, still had a pint in his hand. Yes. Hey, man. Mm-hmm. Not you all see, out of every tragedy arises a hero. Yes. Yeah. And hey. not all heroes wear capes. That's, That's right. right. Some not, drink beer. Yeah. It's yeah. Not, every, not, not every day you're running around $15 in your hand. You make sure you drink that <laughs> shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially, man. The fucking, what's the euro worth now? Well, I guess they don't do euros in England. Oh, like. correct. Uh, anyways, he he was finally identified on in, on uh, the internet as Paul Armstrong. So, Paul Armstrong, our, our tip of the yes. cap to you. That's yeah. right. You are a hero. Hero. Great. I guess he's London. Great London hero. Yes. Good eye. No, that's Australian. Oops. <laughs> Shit. Uh, chip, chip. Yeah. Chip, chip. Cheerio. There, there we go. Beer. Bloody good. Yeah. Bloody good with the beer, mate. <laughs> Isn't that what they say? I don't know. Who knows? Uh, yeah. Bob's your uncle. Yeah. <laughs> I don't Bob. Know. <laughs> uh, and finally, this is interesting. When I first read this headline, I thought, oh, here goes Sam being another douche again. Mm-hmm. Dogfish Head's uh, owner, Sam, asks to be removed from ratebeer.com. Because... Well, here's where it gets interesting. Okay. This past weekend, ratebeer.com... And this is... Uh, the story is from the fullpint.com. Uh, the past weekend, ratebeer, ratebeer.com's Joe Tucker made an announcement on his website that they have been received... Or they have received investment money by XZ Ventures, which is uh, owned by AB InBev, Budweiser. Oh... As a longtime member of Rape Beer, I was slightly stunned by the news, but under- this is the guy who wrote the article, but I understood why Joe made his tough business decision. While we aren't going to jump to the pile and regurgitate the same memes uh, for every other acquisition, I'd like to share a note from Sal, Sal, <laughs> Sam Calione <laughs> from Dogfish Head. Uh, Dogfish, has- Dogfish Head, wow, reading is hard. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, has been a part of RateBeer.com network for quite some time. In fact, we're fans of almost all websites, magazines, newsletters, and blogs that help educate the public and inspire the consumption of great beer. Publications that are passionate about sharing the love for a vibrant craft brewing renaissance that has now gained traction around the globe. For many years, RateBeer, along with entities like Beer Advocate, All About Beer, Draft, Celebrator, Ale Street, Brewing News, and many more, have championed this burgeoning, blossoming craft beer community in ways that are consistent with journalistic integrity. We were troubled by the announcement last week that ZX Ventures, which is fully owned by the global conglomerate Anheuser-Busch InBev, has purchased a portion of Rate Beer. We believe this is a direct violation of the Society's Professional Journalist Code of Ethics and blatant conflict of interest. The SPJ's Code of Ethics includes a section called Act Independently, Includes the following guidelines. He talks about what you should do. Right. If you're, yeah. Anyway, avoid conflict of interest. Yeah. You know, refuse gifts, that sort of thing. Uh, it's our strong opinion that ABI's ownership of rape beer and other properties positioned to cover the craft brewing community like, uh, like October and the beer necessities.com is in direct conflict with multiple guidelines listed above. In the past, as executive editor of Palette, a print magazine project that celebrated global craft beer culture, neither I nor Dogfish Head held any stake in the publication. As a company, Dogfish Head continually shows support for various craft beer publications through paid advertising campaigns. Uh, it goes on, and he essentially right. asks to respectfully be removed and that they don't support rape beer anymore. Wow. I support that. Yeah, me too. That's a good stand. Yeah, at first, like, oh, you douche. Because Sam can be a little douchey. Uh-huh. They do some douchey things. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was like, oh, you douche. And then I read the story and went, oh, 
Yep, I get it. That's right. I mean, hey, man, if Budweiser can make a commercial where you can enjoy a Budweiser, they can also make a commercial where it's like, hey, Rate Beer says, like, we're, you know, the best. We're 100. Right. It's like, yeah, because you are Rate Beer. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, in an upcoming interview, you guys will hear uh, in a couple of weeks with John Gonzalez from Leashless Brewing, he Mm -hmm. talks about Budweiser, the beer. He goes, that is, you know, if you're judging it, the perfect example of that style of beer, the American Pils- Lager. Uh, it's it's exactly what it's supposed to be. It's 100% an American Lager, and it's it's the epitome of that style. And if you're judging it, it gets like 100%, you know, from a judging standpoint. So I could see where they could put 100% on rape beer for Budweiser. Right, exactly. And then, like you said, the commercials, like a lot of movie commercials now say, like, Rotten Tomatoes gives us whatever. Yeah. Now, Budweiser, you're like, oh, rapebeer.com gives us a perfect 100. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, And, I, and that they're going to use that for a lot of the craft beer that they've purchased, too. You know, they say, like, right. you know, like, oh, this beer didn't get yeah. worse. It got better. What are you yeah. talking about? It's like, oh, fuck, man. Well, how did Golden Road get a perfect 100 across exactly, the board? Exactly. Exactly. They know what they're doing. Yeah. And that so, is pretty shysty. Yeah, it is. So I'm, I'm fully on board with sam's decision to uh be you know left off yeah i, I definitely think it, i think yeah. it makes yeah. sense so take a stand man yeah <laughs> <laughs> if you're not gonna take a stand who will that's right so anyways uh that's all i got for mm-hmm. tonight thank you guys for listening yeah don't, don't forget the fat tire drink up is coming up do just that. a couple of weeks do do i'm warmed up that. that's right yeah oh you're yeah right. yeah you yeah. are you're getting primed i'm ready yeah you're primed ready and ready I, you know, I went to, uh, I talked about last week on, on the show, went to NorCal for that stupid wedding, mm. had a fat tire on the plane. It was one of the better of two decent options. Like, you know what? I'm going to have to drink this in a couple weeks. Let's see what I remember about yeah. it. So uh, there anyways, you go. had one. Yes. Getting primed. So don't forget the fat tire drink up. June 18 is the deadline. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Find us on the social medias. The Unfiltered Gentleman on uh, Instagram, Facebook there, Twitter, at Unfiltered Gents. Uh, we're now on Google+. Plus. Wow. I don't really check it, <laughs> but we're there. <laughs> All right. There hey. you go. Uh, Theunfilteredgentleman.com. And if you need to tell someone how to listen to the show, just tell them theunfiltereddgentlemancom slash listen. And please, 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 drunk dial us. 805-538-BEER. 805-538-2337. And uh, hashtag show us your beers. Yes. We want to see what you're drinking. I think I got it all. <laughs> Hashtag yeah. camp, cans for cans. That's right. <laughs> Hashtag cans for cans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for listening. Stay hydrated. East Coast beer. Oh. oh. Right at That's the end. That's a buzzer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Final second. Talk about the 96 bowls. <laughs> <laughs> Stay hydrated on that note. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.